Hi guys, my name is Crystal. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My other video got cut off while I was in mid-speech. My phone is playing up this morning as it does on several occasions. Um, so, Alexa, good morning. Good morning. Oxygen was discovered in August 1774 by Joseph Priestley. He deduced that plants emit oxygen and told friend Benjamin Franklin that he hoped the discovery would stop people cutting down so many trees. Alexa, what's the time, please? The time is 8.17 a.m. Alexa, what's the date today? It's Wednesday, the 23rd of August. Alexa, what's the weather like? Right now in Rochester, it's 16 degrees Celsius with mostly sunny skies. Today's forecast is partly sunny weather, with a high of 25 degrees and a low of 15 degrees. Also, there's a flood alert in effect. Alexa, can you tell me a joke? What do you call two witches living together? Roommates. What do you call two witches living together? Roommates. It's got to be two women, they mean. Right. Well, I think so anyway. You can get male witches. They're called warlocks. So witches is the female witch and a warlock is a male witch. So witches living together would be two women. Right. So I got some star balloons from Tesco's yesterday, a pound. So we've got an orange colour, a red colour, a green colour color a blue color and a yellow color uh, so that's 10 balloons in total i think one pound is not a bad price for 10 uh, star balloons so we're going to blow a couple up um while we're chatting so hi guys, I hope everyone's having a lovely Wednesday so far. Um, I'm just obviously hoping and praying my cat comes back eventually. If she doesn't, then we're just going to get on with everyday life as usual. Um, I, I, I miss my cat, obviously. And as you've seen, when I go outside with my camera, you know, it's as if the world doesn't care. It's, it feels sometimes like the whole world is laughing and taking the piss. But then I think about other people, not myself, right? So other people, you know, what, what's it like for someone when someone has to go outside when they've lost somebody, lost a person, uh, their child's gone missing? or an adult's gone missing of their family. I don't think of myself. They have to go outside. Life goes on, you still have to go out, get everyday items, and it's horrible. And I, I honestly know what it feels like because I've gone through it myself many, many times, especially in Gloucestershire, and the hell I went through in 2008. So I do feel sorry for other people living in extreme horrible conditions in poverty people that have lost children people that have lost their homes and are lying on the pavements homeless i've been through that as well homelessness and it, it to get through every single day when to me every day i go outside something nasty happens and to keep a smile on your face and keep going when it feels like the whole world's against you. And I do worry about my dog. It's only natural. And my other cat. So these are star balloons. So we've blown up a green, yellow, and this is a blue one. I'm not giving up my channel, I'm not giving up on my cat, and um, I'm just going to keep going. That's all I can do, that's all anybody can do. You learn that life 
life doesn't stop, it goes on. It went on when my dad passed away. It went on when my sister passed away. When my sister passed away, the next day, uh, everybody, it seemed to me, was laughing and it wasn't pleasant. And then in the April, uh, the, the July of that year, my dad took me to Dover and he sexually abused me about three or four months after my sister passed away. So, so do you understand, guys, why I keep going on? Because I don't want them to get away with what they've done. I want justice. And Barclays Bank has given me a small amount of compensation, but it doesn't compare to the fact of what they've done since 2008. To me, Crystal, who is Genestra, they haven't done it to my mum, Jennifer. It's me it happened to. So, yes. So, yes, I've lost my cat. But unfortunately, I've been through worse, worse situations and got through them. So my sister died in the March of 2011 and in July, June or July of 2011 my father sexually abused me at one of the holiday parks in Dover. So losing my cat I'm really upset but you've got to see that I just keep expecting nasty things to happen because someone is trying to break me down I haven't had any sexual involvement with someone since 2017 so you know there's people going around saying Crystal's a bike Crystal's a slag I haven't had sexual relations since 2017 a bike is someone that slept with everybody a slag is, is a woman that goes around sleeping probably with blokes every day of the week I haven't got a partner and I haven't had a sexual relationship since 2017. So that's a load of baloney. I know it is, but this evil person, maybe an ex or someone I've turned down um, or, and they haven't liked it, is trying to do a smear campaign against me. So you can either believe me or you can believe them. And it looks like Barclays Bank have believed me because they've paid me compensation. So now I just need to persuade uh, and show my evidence about the NHS, the dentists, the doctors and the police. And then maybe we'll get somewhere. And if you people want to copy, it's flattering. You go ahead and copy. There'll always be someone prettier than you, someone cleverer than you, someone that's got more than you. Am I going to gloat indoors and get upset about it, or am I going to show the world that I mean what I say and I'm going to get justice for what's happened to me and other women in my position? You either sit down and, and listen to to jealousy and evil hatred or you fight against it and I am on my own and I know that but I'm not going to stop there's someone out there that hurts animals animals I think it's funny to make sick jokes about cats when I've lost my cat And it's, the police are sitting on their backsides, right? I, I've, I've been put in danger. I'm I, I was doxxed in 2021. All my name was put up, down on Facebook. And my, my address, my whole address. And the police said that's perfectly okay for someone to do that. The police turned around to me and said, oh, we can't do anything about that. So my whole dress was di uh, disclosed in 2021, so I don't give a fuck now. 
every knows one knows where I fucking live anyway, even though they try and hide it and make out what's happening is happening to someone else. Because they're chickens and they don't want it to come out. And, and obviously you can see, right, obviously my dad had a red Toyota Starlet. Um, he used to buy cars off of eBay from dodgy car, car people. They were dodgy. My dad didn't even change, change the car into his name. It was still registered to the previous car owner before he died. That's why they were in a rush to scrap that red Toyota Starlet because it wasn't even in my father's name. He hadn't changed it over. They're all bent, crooked and dodgy. They're bent, crooked and dodgy. And it's funny how people get this suddenly pass away. They keep disappearing off the face of the planet. And, and, and obviously my cat going missing is another, I think is another technique to try and stop me doing it in videos in case the truth comes out. And I'm not going to stop. There is some really scared person or persons out there thinking, oh my God, this can't come out, this can't come out. What are we going to do if this comes out? And my dad, when I last saw him, was stood up and a very strong man. And he was going outside to his car. In fact, my mum told me he, he was driving that car up to a few weeks before he passed away. Then suddenly he drops dead when the police are about to go round there and ask him questions. He drops dead. My sister passed away, right, in 2011. She was all right the, the day before she died, but then she just suddenly went at the age of 36. I, I, I'm not saying my dad had a suspicious death, don't get me wrong, he had, he had chronic health problems. But the last time I saw him, he was stood up, uh, and not fit as a fiddle, but he, he, he was his old self. And then I don't see him for two months and suddenly he drops dead. And now the games they're playing, my dad, it's the anniversary of Derek's death on Friday, they don't want me to go up to the crem crematorium because there's supposed to be a plaque put up and a rose planted and my mum was talking to me the other day, are you going up to see your, your, where your dad's ashes were spread? And now I suddenly feel sick and ill and can't do anything. It's true guys, that Tesco delivery guy last night kept banging, banging the crates and the trolley and it's hurt my ear and I feel dizzy. He was banging about with those crates and that trolley and I suffer from chronic face pain. They don't want me to go up and see my father's, uh, where my father's ashes were spread over Bluebell Hill Crematorium. I think it's Glade 36 or something. So, so if I haven't got any money, if I haven't got any money, I can't get a taxi to the crematorium, can I? I know the mind of the individuals concerned, I told you. I'm not the only one this happens to. When you whistle blow, when you try and stop whatever cruelty is going on in this world, they don't like it. They like to carry on doing the bad things that they're doing. The illegal theft in shops. I've seen it. I went out to Chatham. What they do is they go into a shop with their mates, right? This isn't food. This, and before COVID, before the 
they're rising shopping prices. This was going on. Bent security guards allow people to steal. They're bent, they're crooked. So if you're mates with a security guard, they turn the blind eye when you steal things in a shop, right? Also, one of the tricks is a gang of, a gang of them, women, men, whatever, will go into a clothes shop um, and, and they, will, they will distract, obviously, assistants doing their work and a gang of them will go around taking the security tags off so, and drop the things on the floor and then their mates will come around and pick them up and even just stuff them in their pocket. They've got no tags on it. It looks like a hanky or a cloth, don't it? But it doesn't matter anyway because the security card is bent. But not all the shop staff would be bent, so they've got to be careful, so they distract staff. It goes on in charity shops, would you believe? People going in, distracting the shop assistants, and then they sit, and then their mates start stealing. Their mates are start stealing while their, their friends are distracting the shop assistants, you see. And anyone that steals from a charity shop is disgusting. But it goes on. People stealing from charity shops, cancer research, you know, scope, heart foundation shop. People steal from charity shops. Usually a lot of it is drug addiction, selling things for drugs. They've got an addiction to alcohol or drugs. 